Right guys, so today we're going to be doing the Scottish Premiership predictions. Now we've done the home kits and you guys seem to love it. All the Scottish fans telling us to come to their team's games and stuff. We actually really appreciate it, don't it's we? It's been amazing. The feedback we've got from the Scots has been superb. So keep the comments coming. And because of it, we are now doing a predictions video because you guys have been asking for it. And shall we just get straight into it? Let's get straight into it. And a, and a health warning first. We're new to Scottish football. So if we've got something wrong, put it in the comments. I've got my brew. I added a little Scottish whiskey just for you guys, <laughs> just to make these videos my reaction's even better. We're going to be going from the back of the alphabetical order, as you know. What's the like target for today's video, Bob? Let's Dad? go with 3,000 likes. Okay, that's a big one. That's a big yeah. one. Let's see if you guys can hit that. Yeah. When Dog Dad says something, you got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> that begins us with St. Mirren. Ooh, what do you think they're going to do? St. Mirren. There's 12 teams in the Scottish Premiership, and last year St. Mirren were 11. This year is going to be tough. They've got the smallest squad in the league. I've got St. Mirren rock bottom. No way, really? I'm sorry. Honest, I think St. Mirren are going to finish 11th, because I've got a little hope in their signings. They've signed a lad called Oan Jokaev. Now, funnily enough, as we're both no Bolton way. fans, no Bolton, I, I haven't even said it yet. He is the son of Yuri Jokaev. No absolute way. Yeah. Yuri Jokaev. Bolton Wanderers legend. Love him. One of the best players I've ever seen in the flesh. I hope he's half as good as his dad. So therefore, I'm going to put St. Marin 11th. I've got a little bit of hope for them. I think yeah. I'm going to put them just above relegation. I think they can avoid the drop. Good Let's on. move on to St. Johnston. Seventh. Yeah, they came first and out the relegation team. Yeah. I mean, they got Tom Wright as the manager. Yeah. One of your subscribers, Leroy, says they've got a good player in Jason Kerr. Okay. Uh, centre back. I actually think St. Johnston will be comfortably seventh. Again. So I put St. Johnson 8. Now I looked at their ins and I've got a little one to watch for you guys. The young right back from Celtic, Wallace Duffy. There's 12 teams, 38 games. All right. So what happens is that all the teams play each other three times. Yeah. Oh. So they've played 33 games and then they split the league into two oh, really? to play the last five games. So you look at last year's league table, Hearts were sixth with 51 points, St. Johnson was seventh with 52 points. Wow. The team who finished bottom last season, Dundee, Celtic top on 87 points. The team that came top got four times as many points as the team that Right, first thing we're going to be doing is Ross County. What are your thoughts on them? Came up last year, mm. um, won the league with 71 points. The bookies, if you fancy a punt, yeah. Ross County, 1,500 to 1 to win the league. Ooh, you never know. You never have. I think they will survive. I think they'll be 10th. You think they'll be 10th? Yeah. Uh, they did make a signing ruddy from Wolves, yes. but I don't think they're going to have enough to stay up. I think I put them 12th place. Ooh. Ross County, I'm sorry. Alphabetically, Rangers is next, but you know what? Why don't we leave it for a while? Yeah, we're going to keep this exciting. So <laughs> when we get to Celtic, we'll talk about Rangers. Let's move on to the team after Rangers, which is Motherwell. They've got a player called David Turnbull, a 20-year-old lad. Last season, he got 15 goals and four yeah. assists. I've heard about this lad. He is an attacking midfielder. He lit everything he shoots goes to goal, yeah, yeah. He's so That's good right, at yeah. hitting the back of the net, right? Yeah. Celtic tried to sign him. He is a cracking player. I would not be surprised if one of the Premier League teams runs after him yeah. before Celtic snap him up. This year, they'll be eighth again. I've got a couple more things to say about Motherwell, actually. They actually, you'll like this, Dad. They yeah. just signed a striker that Bolton had online a few years ago, Chris Long. Chris Long, yes. Do you remember him? Yeah. And they've also got Devante Cole. They just signed a winger who's playing for them before, who's actually related to Clarence Seedorf. Did you know that? Really? Wow. So, some interesting facts coming out of Motherwell. But for me, I'm putting Motherwell 7th. Livingston are the next team we're going to be reviewing. In terms of home form, they would have finished 4th. No way. They would. They got 30. They create points. a real buzz at their home ground then. Uh, must be, yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe we should go to Livingston. Maybe we need to go to one. The buzz, the Livingston buzz. 32 points at home, away form, 12 points. Oh. God. So Livingston fans, what was happening that you get three times as many points at home? They're the um, Arsenal of Scotland. There you go. <laughs> I think they'd like that. That's a yeah. compliment. Yeah. I've got Livingston 9. I'm sorry Livingston fans, but I got you 10. Ooh. Well, it's not that bad. It's all right. Yeah, it's not that bad because it's out of avoiding relegation. Yeah. Kilmarnock are the next team we're going to be talking about. Now, this is a really interesting one, isn't it, Dad? Because they're a team who ended third last year. Yes. The bookies expected them to do a lot worse. I saw some Scottish Premier League predictions on YouTube. Yeah. Some people even putting them eighth. And they wow. finished third, third yeah. and the season before they finished fourth. Yeah. They have some sort of consistency. They've got a new manager, is that right? They have. Which is confusing. Why would you change something that's working? Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. What's happened in recent days? Oh my god, you went out of the Europa Cup oh. to Connor's key nomads. Shocking. Last year they had seven loanees from big clubs around, yes. around England. Now they're all gone. They've only made one loan signing and one transfer. 
I'm worried for them. I'm gonna put them fifth. I'm putting Kilmarnock sixth. At my local Greg's in Millhill Broadway, I've got <laughs> it's an old guy called Arthur from Scotland, and he's a Kilmarnock fan, and he's always talking to me about the results and how they Is made he? European football. Oh. I never actually told you that, Dan. Brilliant. But it's brilliant. I always go into Greg's, I always get my sausage roll, and he tells me about Kilmarnock's recent result. The joys of knowing a lovely Scotsman. Yeah. Now, he used to be part of a band, but I forgot the name. He was telling me once, he used to be big around really? the world. They were touring and stuff, oh, I forgot right. the name. Just one of those funny stories that I'd like to tell you guys, but Fantastic. yeah. So now we've got Hibernian next. Ooh. Now, this is a team, I like talking about Hibernian, yeah. because they recently signed Christian Deutsch yes. and Josh Vela. If you didn't oh, know, wow. Both yes. ex-Bolton players. They yeah. both played for us. Tell you what, we've got to go to the Edinburgh Derby to see those two lads. Mm. I mean, Josh. That'll be Fella. class for you. Josh Fella. Josh Fella is a Get good, stuck good in. football. Yeah. Right. And Christian Deutsch will bag goals for you. He did it for Forest Green. What? Headers, shooting, everything. Yeah. Hibernian are one to look out for next year. In fourth place. I've got him in fourth as well. Nice one. We'll shake on that one. Hearts next, guys. Me and Thogdad did love Hearts. Home kit, but yeah. also their third kit is absolutely stunning. So Hearts is the, the other big Edinburgh club. Niall, a friend of mine, Niall from Edinburgh, uh, says, I agree with you about the kits. The Hearts yeah. kit is the best. It is. He also says, Hearts to finish third at worst is all you need to know. Wow. So Niall says that Hearts third, second, or first. And now that's a big statement knowing that they finished sixth last year. They recently signed Connor Washington, a Northern Ireland international. They signed him from Sheffield United, he played for QPR, championship goal scorer. I don't think they're going to change too much, I think they're going to end sixth again. A good manager in Craig Levine, I yeah. think Hearts will be fifth. Yeah. Hamilton and the next team we're going to be reviewing. Hamilton last year finished tenth. Their goal difference, minus 47. What? I mean, away from oh home, God. they scored eight goals, so something is not right. Hamilton, I'm sorry, 11th this You season. got them 11th? You're going to struggle. I think um, they made a decent couple signings. I'm going to put them ninth. We're going to talk about Aberdeen now, guys, so we can leave Celtic and Rangers for the end. Where do you think Aberdeen will come? Well, okay, so last season, Aberdeen were fourth, 67 points, 13 points ahead of yeah. Hibernian. I have got a soft spot for Aberdeen. Yeah. Aberdeen. Aberdeen is the last non-old firm team to win the Scottish title. Wow! Yeah, I think, uh, tell me if I'm wrong, I think it's 1984 from memory. Uh They've got a wonderful player in Sam Cosgrove. Mm. I don't know if you know about him. He's an English lad. Yeah. He's 22 years old, and last season he got 17 goals and one assist. What? That's I'm not incredible. Even joking, yeah. An English 22 Give him year old the English England lad. call up. Yeah. Third place. You know what? I'm going to have to agree with you on third place. They signed James Wilson from United. Yes. That's a great signing. Yes. And let's not forget Craig Bryson from Derby. Some yeah. championship experience. This leaves us onto the last two teams, Celtic and Rangers. We put them together so we don't give anything away. Because if we say Rangers, then you know where Celtic is. But both of us right now, if I'm right, yeah. we've left second and first available. I've got a question for you, Theo. What's, what's your question, Dan? Who's won the most Scottish titles over the last hundred and something years? Is it Rangers? Rangers, 54 titles. How many titles have Celtic won? 50. Right. What's the most titles any club has won in a row consecutively? Nine. Nine. And the who, same, they've both done they've the same. They've both done that. So this is fascinating. How many times have Celtic won the title over the last few years? Eight times, but this Eight is the Eight times ninth. in a row. This is the ninth. This is a bloody fascinating season for Scottish football. So you're telling me, Dad, if Celtic win the next two seasons in a row, they've got the biggest record. They've suddenly got ten in a row. But Rangers, last season, 11 points ahead of Kilmarnock in yeah. third. So look, it's obvious that Rangers will be will be top two. Yeah. Uh, the bookies have gotten three to one to win the title. Their manager is Steven Gerrard. Now that's interesting because I found a little trend with Rangers because in the last three seasons, 70 points, 74 points, 78. There is a going trend yeah. and Steven Gerrard has helped that on. They are starting to gain points back and every year they're getting more. Steven Gerrard can attract any player he wants. So what some of the younger English fans might not know is that Rangers basically went into liquidation. Mm. They were they were demoted a, um, a couple of leagues. Yes. And they had to fight their way back. I could just see them pushing on next year. And but I, I could also see Celtic pushing on. And yeah. you want to know why, Dad? Yeah. They've signed a, a big centre-back called Christian Julian, who is the third biggest transfer that ever has happened in the Scottish Premiership. And let's not forget Luke O'Connell, the youngster from Bolton. He reaped potential. I made a standalone video on just showing you how good he is. And he's okay. only played 12 games for Bolton. I'd okay. like to talk about two Rangers players. Okay. Alfredo Morelos. Morelos. Great player. A 23 year old Colombian mm. who last season got 18 goals and three assists. And he's a very aggressive player. He's the sort of one you want in your old firm derby. He'll get a goal and he'll get a red card. You know what yeah. I mean? I'd like to talk back. about, yes, James Tavernier, age 27. I think he's the captain. 
Last season he got 14 goals and 16 assists. From fullback. Yeah. That is mental. Um, and they've also signed Stephen Davis from uh, Southampton. Kieran Tierney. Oh yeah. Back, age 22. Arsenal were trying to buy him. So they're still trying to buy him at the moment. How much There's a massive discussion. 25 million. Wow. Now, um, it's a very close one because right now no one really knows where Kieran Tierney is going to leave or stay at Celtic. Celtic have spent big. By yes. Scottish standards, they've mm. spent £12 million on three defenders. Edward, great player for Celtic. He's been good for a few years. Now, he is someone they signed from PSG for £9 million, right? Yeah. When we went to the FK Sarajevo game, yes. which we went to and made a video, it's on my channel. Edward scored a great goal. Who have you got in first place? First place. I've gone for... Celtic. I think Rangers are going to get to about 82 points next year. Right. But I still think Celtic are going to win the league because they're also improving. I'm sorry Rangers fans, we're just going off facts. Yeah. That's all we're doing. Yeah. We wish you the best of luck to both teams, but it's going to be a great division, I'm oh sure. God. And I'm sure oh. we'll get down maybe to an old firm game or something like that. We should try to, shouldn't oh we, Oh my Dad? goodness, I want to go to an old firm game. I want to go to an Edinburgh derby. Yeah. You know what, I want to go to a Dundee derby. Yeah. I'd love to make a video and basically show fans all around the world how good these Scottish games are, how fierce they are, yeah. how important they are. What's the like target for today's video, Dog Let's Dad? go with 3,000 likes. Okay, that's a big one. That's a big yeah. one. Let's see if you guys can hit that. Yeah. When Dog Dad says something, you got to do it. <laughs> I want to see more Scottish YouTubers. Yeah. yeah, let's see more Scottish YouTubers. Let us know if you want us to do any more Scottish Premiership stuff, maybe even Scottish Championship stuff, who knows? Who do you think will be the top three teams and the bottom three teams in your predictions of the Scottish Premiership? Let us know in the comments. We'll see you down there straight after this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all later. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye, guys.